Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is a thrift flip video, one of my very favorite kinds of videos to make. In front of me, I have a few items that have already sold and I'm getting them custom painted ready to ship. I thought it would be a great opportunity to film a video, but I'm also going to be showing you some things that have just been sitting around. We are going to get them done. I'm gonna get them listed up on my website, upcycledbybrie.com, and you can also find all of the paint and products on my website as well. But I will link all of that information down in the description box below. If you're new, be sure to hit that little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. Often when I thrift, I list things as is on my website to be upcycled. These three items have already sold and we are gonna get them ready to ship. For the first shelf corbel, I'm using DIY Skeleton Key, a beautiful smoky blue, and my Klingon R14. Look how thick and beautiful this paint is. It is highly pigmented, VOC free, and all natural, which means it's safe to use inside. This Klingon brush makes quick work of all the little details, getting down in the nooks and crannies perfectly. After one good coat of paint, I'm going to be using three different colors of wax to finish this up. First, a little wet distressing. Since DIY paint is water soluble until it's sealed, I can use a damp rag and wipe back the paint over the details. First up is a coat of clear wax. I use a chip brush to apply a nice thin layer evenly across the entire corbel. Next, we have white wax. Again, a smaller chip brush, and now I am just brushing it very lightly over the raised details on the corbel, giving it this beautiful whitewashed effect. And last up, some black wax just to add some depth back to the piece. I love the effect you can get using the different DIY waxes. Here's a reminder of what the corporal looked like before and a peek when it's all done. What do y'all think? Is this a good upgrade? Leave me a comment below. I love this beautiful blue color. It's going to fit in perfectly with winter decor. The custom order also included this book, so I thought this would be a beautiful French country combination. Next up is a cloche cover. This one didn't have a base, so I used a scrap piece of wood from my garage and cut out a wooden round. I'm using Sweet Pickens Dark Oil Wax to age the bottom and the sides of this wood round. paint to seal the paint in. And here's a look at the cloche with the reclaimed wooden base. Such a pretty antique look. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can never doubt, not what I'm about Have your f***ing loud, if you it off, I'm going to take the swan back inside and freshen the wood up with Sweet Pickens Hemp Oil this is a one-step treatment to freshen up the wood. I apply a thin layer with a brush, let it sit for 15 minutes to really soak into that wood grain, and wipe the excess off with a clean rag. That's all there is to it. I added in some beautiful vintage floral to fit in with this order.
Last up today is that beautiful frame, which I thought was wood when I bought it at the thrift store. It's more of a resin product. I'm going to use some DOS air dry clay to fix the little break in it. I fit a piece to size and cut it down with my X-Acto knife. Using a combination of hot glue and Gorilla Clear Grip adhesive, I glue the air dry clay into the break and let it dry for several hours. After the first layer was dry, I added a bit more to the top because I noticed there was a lip around that oval rim. So I really made sure to smooth this air dry clay down and then using some of my Cricut tools, I formed it to fit the shape of the edge a bit better. I'm going to use a little bit of DIY Dark and Decrepit, which is a multi-use product, but it is self-sealing. So it acts as a stain and you can tell it helped that air dry clay blend in with the frame a lot better. Back in with some DIY White Swan to paint this beautiful wooden frame white. Okay, I'm going in with just a little bit of a touch-up coat. I use my continual mist bottle to spray down my brush and just touch up any of the spots that I may have missed. If y'all enjoyed watching me transform these items into this, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and share this video with a friend who you think may enjoy it as well. That's going to help my channel grow, which will help me continue to bring you amazing content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. And all of the flips and the paint I use today are over on my site, upcycledbybrie.com. Check me out on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Till next time, I will see y'all later. Bye, friends. I love to thrift, garage sale. Uh -huh. If y'all enjoyed watching me take...